Congratulations, applaud students of spring trimester 2021. As principal, it is my pleasure to congratulate you. It is always fun for me to look forward to celebrating kids, their accomplishments here at Park High School, their contributions to our school community, and the general wonderful things that they do each and every day. We are so grateful to be able to honor wonderful students such as yourselves. I want to take a moment and acknowledge the number of seniors that we have recognized during Applaud this month. And I want to wish you a bright and prosperous future as you move through the graduation commencement and move on to your future endeavors. Good luck and best wishes. And please come back and visit us from time to time. Students, being part of Applaud is acknowledgement that staff have taken notice of what you do each and every day for just being you. And I think when we are in a time where we're wearing masks, when it is difficult to make connections with teachers or with one another, you have figured out a way to make yourself be known and be heard and be seen and be recognized. And to that, I congratulate you. You still have made an indelible mark on our staff, and I know that they appreciate you very much. I want to take a moment to thank our sponsors that helped make this possible. First, to Ms. Lynn Diamond, who organizes the Applaud program every trimester each year. She does a wonderful job. And to all of her partners, such as 3M and Cottage Grove, Ed's Trophies, Jimmy John's, Lions Club, Mary Slusser, McDonald's, Salon 80 Hair Studio, Super America Corporation, Tanucci's Restaurant, 833 Nutritional Services, and Ms. Annalise Werner-Thomas, who's editing our video. When you have a chance, reach out and say thank you to them for helping to put this together in your recognition. With that, congratulations, and we look forward to many more great things from you to come. It's really tough to applaud our winners virtually, and I must say I'm not sure I'll ever fully get used to talking with people and meeting with them virtually. As the mayor, the applaud ceremony is one of my favorite gatherings, and while I understand why we can't all meet in person, I'll admit that I'm disappointed to be chatting with you through a screen. But we won't let that get in the way of what we're celebrating. Congratulations on your awards. As a community, we are proud of you and all that you have accomplished, especially under the circumstances we dealt with over the past year. Allow me, on behalf of the city, to take an applause break. Our community is extremely proud of you and I have no doubt you will go on to represent your hometown and accomplish great things in the world. I cannot imagine a year more difficult than the one we just went through. Your success as students and residents of our city should be celebrated, especially as we consider all the adversity you faced. This wasn't a traditional school year, yet you grew, persevered, and thrived nonetheless. I know that awards recognize integrity, commitment, and compassion. These aren't buzzwords, they're attributes. To be recognized for them is a true testament to your character and your commitment to helping others. As a mayor, I realize how important these attributes are, especially right now, but also as we move forward together. I also realize integrity, commitment, and compassion aren't things you were born with. It's something you work on and they require energy and fortitude. These are the qualities we look for when we hire our city's leaders, and these are qualities that will serve you well into the future. So I've also been asked to share some information on what's happening in the city. We talk a lot about diversification of our housing stock. I don't know if you already know this, but Cottage Grove is one of the fastest growing cities in the metro area. We continue to build new homes to accommodate the growing number of people who want to live in our city. But one of these things we're doing with diversification is we're making Cottage Grove more accessible to everyone, regardless of age or income level. You may have noticed in recent years, we've added a handful of very large senior living communities. You'll also see more townhomes and multifamily homes under construction, and just down the street from your school, crews are finishing up a 120 unit apartment complex. We're working with another development who plans to build a similar building. Why would I tell you this? When you're done with school and you enter the workforce, there's a place for you to live right here in your hometown. It goes without saying that we'd love to have you. The city is always working on bringing new restaurants, retailers, and service providers and employers to town. One thing you also hear a lot about starting this summer is a potential community center. In November, our residents will vote on a center that, if approved, will be built near Walmart 
and include an outdoor aquatic center, sports dome, indoor playground, and community learning and gathering spaces. I want to close by getting back to what's important right now, which is recognizing you and applauding you for your contributions to the school. I know I speak for your fellow students, teachers, and parents in saying thank you and congratulations. You deserve more than our applause because we couldn't be prouder of you. Hi, I'm Mr. O'Connor, the director of choirs here at Park High School, and I am more than pleased to congratulate and honor senior choir member Aaron Holbrook as the Music Applaud student of trimester three. There is not a more deserving person in the choir program than Aaron to receive this award, and she has been such a dedicated choir member and class member all the way going back to ninth grade, and she's a senior this year, and Aaron quickly progressed from the overture choir to the advanced treble choir, and then for the past two years in concert choir. She also goes above and beyond and comes to school once a week at 7.30 in the morning for our extracurricular choir on Wednesdays and is just, you can get, count on her to be on time and, and in attendance even for those extra things. And finally this year, she also had a schedule conflict where she's actually taking an extra class. And even though she's not able to come to choir class every day, she takes the initiative to learn her music on her own at home home and is always ready to go and knows her part and knows her songs for the performances. So I just the uh, fact that she goes above and beyond to do that on her own is exemplary. And we are really going to miss Erin in the years to come as she graduates this year. But I know that she has many more good things in store here as the years go on. So again, congratulations to Erin Holbrook as the music student of trimester three. Congratulations. Mr. Wallace, you're your business teacher at Park. For my applause student, I choose senior, Olivia Bedard. I nominate Olivia as my applause student for a variety of reasons, but for the purpose of time, I'm going to stick to just a few of those. Uh, even with everything that's been going on since this pandemic, you have continued to stay motivated. You always came to my class eager to learn uh, new concepts, ideas, you ask questions, and you've already applied some of those concepts from my class to your real life. Olivia, you're always willing to share your successes and endeavors, which is a reason why I became a teacher. It's one of the main reasons, I should say. I like hearing young professionals' successes, especially when you come to me and tell me about your speech competitions, for example. I recently heard you took the bilingual test and will receive a platinum CEO on your diploma. Major shout out and congratulations to you for that. I also saw in a recent email that you spent time outside of class rehearsing and performing a solo for this year's MSHSL Region 3AA Solo Slash Ensemble Festival and received a pos the possible highest earning of Superior. Again, another woot woot and congrats to you. Thank you for being engaged in class, sharing experiences, and I wish you luck in your next step towards a political science degree and on your pathway to success as a law student. I'm sure you'll make an excellent lawyer and I look forward to hearing about your successes in the future. Hello, I'm Walter Newcomb and I teach social studies here at Park High School. It is my honor and privilege to recognize Aaliyah Thomas for social studies with the Applaud program. Aaliyah is in IB History of the Americas and I've had her for all three trimesters. What I have learned about Aaliyah over those three trimesters is that she is very measured when selecting to participate in class. When she does participate in class, she is very thoughtful in her message. Also, I know that uh, she is an incredibly hard worker. She has a great work ethic. She is engaged in her learning. And I can see that by her finished work. In her finished work, you can definitely tell that she gives a part of herself, as you can see with some of these examples. She's very thoughtful, incredibly intelligent, and uh, extremely creative. When I inform the social studies department that I intend to uh, nominate Aaliyah Thomas, the response was extremely positive from my colleagues. It is definitely, you can tell that she has um, made an impact on social studies department. Uh, it is incredibly refreshing to have a student like Aaliyah Thomas in class. And so with that, again, it is my honor and privilege to recognize Aaliyah Thomas uh, for social studies with the Applaud program. Congratulations, Aaliyah Thomas. 
Welcome folks to uh, the applaud ceremony for trimester three. The math department would like to recognize Bella Bang uh, for her hard work. Bella was in my HLSL calculus class this past trimester. She did a nice job. She asked great questions in class. Came class with a positive attitude, smile every day, and she completed all her assignments and did a nice job. Hard worker. Um, I think she has a bright future ahead of her, and I look uh, forward to hearing great things about Belle in the future. Thank you. My name is Kara Roloff, and I am honored to speak on behalf of Park High's English Department to announce our Try 3 Applaud winner, Alex Glover. Alex brings so much personality and light and life to the classroom, and his personality shines so much as he enters class and makes every single person, whether they're a student or a staff member, feel welcome. I have personally known Alex since he was a sophomore and to be able to see him grow each year up until this most recent trimester where he was in my English elective class and to see not only how Alex has grown as a student, but more so into the amazing, responsible, generous, considerate, kind, intelligent, hilarious young man that he is today. He's respectful of all voices, even if they're different from his own, and he cares enough about all of his classes to share his own unique perspective, which is always insightful and always so, so considerate. One thing that I personally love about Alex is that he's always eager to learn and push the depth of class and our discussions and our activities to a higher level. The fact that he genuinely listens, whether it be to retain information or just to learn things about individuals, really just shows that he has so much compassion for other people. And not only that, but he also has a lot of commitment and compassion for himself. Alex knows what he wants to do, he knows what he's good at, and he's not afraid to play to those strengths. I just know that this kid is something else. He really is. He is just such a unique human, and I am beyond grateful to have watched him grow and excel over the past couple years. It was a unanimous decision for our English department to choose Alex as our applaud winner. So thank you, Alex, for being our student and for working with us throughout the years. We are so sad to see you go, but we know that no matter where you end up in life, they're so lucky to be in your presence and we honestly just can't wait to see all the things that you accomplish in life. Congratulations, Alex, you deserve it, and yay! Thank you! Hola, yo me llamo Profe y soy un maestro de español aquí en Park. Hoy yo tengo el honor de reconocer a Grace Norm Tannehill, a quien nosotros referimos aficionadamente como Graciela, como la ganadora del premio de Applaud por parte del Departamento de Lenguajes. Yo he conocido a, a Graciela por dos años y durante este tiempo he llegado a ver a Graciela como una estudiante lista eh, divertida, muy divertida y súper positiva. Graciela es una persona que aborda cada aspecto de su vida con pasión y curiosidad. Y de hecho, es esa curiosidad que le ha llevado al éxito en su ocupación de aprender una nueva lengua. Graciela beneficia a cualquier esfuerzo en que participa. Ella trae diversión, emoción y pasión a todo ambiente de aprendizaje. Y nosotros estamos muy graciosos por y súper orgullosos de ella. Eh, muchas felicitaciones, Graciela. Lo mereces mucho. Hi. I want to congratulate Adeline. Gildy for the applaud winner for the FIED department this semester. She was in my strength and conditioning class. Her effort was amazing, really good effort. Um, I think at first she was a little apprehensive about the whole deal, uh, thinking what she signed herself up for as far as being in a strength and conditioning class. Uh, very few females in there comparatively to the males. Um, however, she showed a lot of courage. She embraced it. She listened very carefully, followed the, the techniques and was willing to put in tremendous effort. She improved, she made some really good strides with the amount of weight she was using, and most importantly, she had really good technique in everything she was doing. Um, also, she was a very good partner, extremely good partner, encouraging her other classmates, etc. Just an absolute pleasure to have in class, and once again, I want to congratulate Adeline for a job well done, thanks. 
my name is Ms. Mehra and I'm the science teacher at Park High. I have the honor to introduce Luke Reckinger. Luke has been chosen by the science department for the Applaud Science Applaud Award. I have known Luke since a ninth grader when he was in my honors physical science and this year he is in my IB physics class as a senior. Luke will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities in the fall to pursue a degree in biomedical engineering. Luke is a hardworking, organized, respectful, and a good human being. He has the skills to succeed in what he sets his mind to do. Luke enjoys the outdoors very much. Fishing and camping are some of his favorite summer activities. He enjoys golfing as well. Luke has done cross-country track and field in the past. Luke will be graduating as a full IB diploma candidate this year. We wish you the best for future, Luke. Michael is our spring Claude winner at Park. Michael has incredible woodworking skills. He knows all the machines. He knows a lot of the techniques, but he's even a better welder. If I had to bet on who was the best welder in the entire school, I'd bet my house that it's Michael. He has mad skills at all the welding. Stick, MIG, gas. But that isn't really the reason why I picked Michael. The reason why I did was he just works so well with everybody and he teaches them so well. And stick welding, when I needed someone to sit with them and just show them the technique, because it's very difficult, Michael was the guy. And he could sit there and just in a very professional manner and very soothing manner, teach them how to do those things. He's amazing. Also, another reason that I picked him is I had somebody call me and say, hey, I need somebody 40 hours a week. And Michael was the first guy. And when you start thinking of somebody that you're gonna send to an industry because they're looking for help or a full-time employee and the first guy you think of that is uh, a big testament and how good he is and how well I thought he would do. So, Michael, great job this spring uh, and great job all the years that you've taken our classes. Thanks.